This is the conditioning circuit for your Friday workout in phase one. And first element is a walking overhead lunge. So you can grab a plate, push it nice and tall, keep the chin tucked, and just alternate legs as you go into a walking lunge. From there, you'll go to a one-arm row. So you'll place a knee in the same hand, same side hand on a bench. Let the weight hang down from the shoulder and pull the thumb up towards the rib cage. And we'll show the other side just to balance you out. So when you do the circuit, you'll do all of one side for the full time, take the rest, and then you'll do the second side. Okay. So we'll come over and we'll do a pistol squat. So you'll set a foot up in front of a small box or a bench. You'll shoot the opposite foot forward reach the hands, touch the hips to the bench, and then stand up. If you need to make this easier, hold a medicine ball and reach it out, and that'll help counterbalance you. And then you would do the opposite side as well. So all of your reps with a full time interval on one leg, take the rest, and then do the opposite side. Then you're over to a squat rack or some type of bench where you can place your hand. Smith machine, anything of this type would work. I see Jordy here, she sets up with one hand on the Safety supports in the squat rack, lower yourself down, and press back up. And make sure you're keeping a nice straight angle of ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder as you come down. All of your reps with full interval on one side, take the prescribed amount of rest, and then do your reps on the opposite. And from here, then we're next over to a heel touch. So starting in an elevated position, Jordy will make sure that the toes are pointed straight forward. As she lowers herself to the ground, she's going to reach the hands forward as she pushes the hips back. Draw the toes up on that free leg so you're just touching the heel. Again, do all of your reps on the one side. Take the prescribed rest and then do the opposite limb. And lastly in the circuit, if you have access to a sled or a prowler, we're going to step out here and we'll show you the, the conditioning element in this, condition, in this circuit. It's a prowler push. Set your hands on the posts here, keep the hips forward, the chest tall, and you'll drive the sled. Good. Now, the prowler is kind of a unique piece of equipment, so if you don't have access to a sled like that, we're going to show you an alternate version inside here. So if you don't have, as we were saying, don't have a a sled, put a plate on the floor, set yourself up into that same type of position, make sure more of the force is driving forward rather than down, and go ahead there, Jordy. And that's it. There's your substitution for the prowler push.